We love hip hop. Um, speaking of stupid people, actually, yeah, let's do this. There's these teens that have been running around murking people. Okay, we're going to get into some true crime for a quick second. None of these is rap. Okay, so don't tell me, yo, Friday, what does this have to do with hip hop? Nothing. Well, they might rap. They probably rap. So Project Beacon. Two teens charged with M amid tow truck violence probe. And there's a clip that I was watching earlier, courtesy of uh, the Toronto police. They did a press conference. So I'll read this quickly. Hopefully I don't botch it up. A 15-year-old and a 16-year-old face first-degree murder charges as the result of an ongoing investigation into a tow truck industry violence. Four arrested, also including 17-year-old and a 31-year-old, um, were announced on Wednesday as a part of Project Beacon, an effort from the tow truck task force formed in late June. Okay, now the arrest follows 43 tow truck-related shootings. 43, okay? Tow truck, tow truck related shootings in Toronto this year. Um, the arrest announced by Toronto Police Chief Myron Blasi Blah, flanked by Staff Superintendent Joe Matthews and Staff Superintendent Kelly Skinner. A common thread is the money, uh, Matthews said. Um, they are being enticed to do so by their financial gains. The 15-year-old male from Oshawa faces 85 charges, including first-degree murder and a multiple counts of conspiracy to commit indictable offenses, possession of a firearm without a license, occupying a vehicle with a firearm, and reckless discharge of a firearm. Okay? That's the 15-year-old. The 16-year-old male from Stouffville also faces first-degree murder charges, as well as multiple other charges, including conspiracy to commit indictable offenses, possession of a firearm without a license, possession of a loaded, regulated weapon, and reckless discharge of a firearm. The 15- and 16-year-old were found with a Glock handgun um, when they were arrested on July 15th. Okay, Their alleged victims um, was Sukun, I'm not going to read this name, 28, of Pickering, who worked with the towing business and was not known to police. Um, the gentleman was shot to death on July 6th at the Warden Avenue and Ellesmere Road area. While the police announced the details to this project to the 16-year-old sat in the downtown Toronto courtroom applying for bail. Members of the homicide victim family sat on the other side of the court listening to the four processed... Now, okay, hold on. Let me see here. So the 16-year-old was previously charged with assault in May of 2022 with the assault with the weapon with allegedly using a pellet gun to shoot another youth in the face, according to the source, okay? Because he's 16. He has completed grade 11. And obviously, they don't have the names of these um, youths here, these two gentlemen, because they're kids. Um... The four arrests and 177 charges connected to multiple incidents between May and July of this year, police said. So just two months span. Okay. Now, for the people who don't know, and I'm going to pull up a piece of the press conference as well. There's a whole tow truck war that's going on in this city. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, like these guys are warring over getting I guess customers and I'll play a little bit of the press conference let me see if I can find that quick fast here we go well is the exploitation of youths and other alleged offenders you also hear about our efforts to address and prevent youth gun violence I will now turn it over to Staff Superintendent Joe Matthews for more information on the investigation. Thank you, Chief. Good morning. The Toronto Police Service Homicide Unit has arrested both a 15 and 16 year old youth for first degree murder in a tow truck related homicide that occurred on July 6th. 28 year old Sulak Shan Selvasingham of Pickering was shot repeatedly while sitting in his car in the Warden and Ellesmere area. 
The suspects fled and the victim eventually succumbed to his injuries. The tow truck task force known as Project Beacon also alleged that these same two youths were responsible for 11 separate shootings between June 29th and Ju July 14th, with eight of these shootings taking place over just two days at the Canada Day long weekend. As a result, they're, to they're facing a total of 154 charges in relation to these events. On May 15th of this <coughs> year, a suspect opened fire on two tow trucks which were parked in the Markham Road and Steeles Avenue East area of Toronto. Fortunately, no Now, obviously, this war is going on all over the city, but a lot of this stuff for these guys, I guess this is a, a, a sting operation that's been going on, an investigation that's been going on in the East End. AGB, what up? No one was injured, but there was damage to the trucks. After an investigation by our centralized shooting response team, a 17-year-old youth was arrested for the shooting and charged with six offenses. Also, as a result of the investigation, we allege this youth was being paid to commit the shooting and was directed to where the tow trucks would be by another person. 33-year-old Jamal Saeed Wisey of Oshawa has been charged with conspiracy to commit an indictable offense and has since been released by the courts. We know the ages of, the res of those responsible for the murder and other shootings over a holiday weekend is alarming to the community. The senseless violence has a significant impact on our communities and their well-being. These youth suspects are facing charges including conspiracy, possession of firearms without a license, and reckless discharge of firearms. Three different stolen vehicles were used in their 16-day violent crime spree. Excuse me. The youth were arrested on July 15th after Ontario Provincial Three different vehicles. observed them in a stolen vehicle and were able to stop them. During the arrest, they were found to be in possession of a stolen Glock. At the time of their arrest, one of the youths was on a release order by the courts not to be in a possession of a weapon and the other was on a weapons prohibition. We've been working with Durham Regional Police, the Ontario... So these guys already had weapons charges, um, these two kids. And keep in mind, 16 and 17. Ontario Provincial Police and Peel Regional Police, and we thank them for their assistance. We stand here today committed to restore community safety in collaboration with our partners throughout the GTA. I'd like to turn it over to Staff Superintendent Kelly Skinner. Good morning, everyone. I know that hearing these stats surrounding youth and youth violence are troubling. It's troubling for all of us. And we recognize that addressing youth violence requires more than just arrests and data collection. It requires all of us involved in proactive solutions. We are deploying resources strategically to address these violent crimes and working collaboratively with residents, with community leaders, faith leaders, and agencies to build relationships and to co-develop solutions to this problem. We understand the impact of adverse childhood experiences on the development of our youth. Okay, they're going to get into a lot of deep dive into, oh my God, the psychology and stuff like that. Here's the thing. This is not new to me. Maybe this whole tow truck war and stuff. AGB, yeah, pull up, pull up, because I want to know if this is something that's going on in Montreal as well. Um, But it's not new to me to have like, and I haven't done this myself, but to see older heads or gangsters or whatever use young shooters. Use the crash dummies. You know what I'm saying? Get some kids to go out there, catch the charge. What's the most that's going to happen? You know, if, if they don't get caught for an M and you get, you know, you catch a 17 year old with a burner, he'll be out by the time he's 18, 19. They'll charge him as a juvie. However, there's a way deeper problem that's going on to be able to um, just take it that to that level. There's a lot of their full, they don't, their frontal cortex has not fully developed yet. So they're learning how to be little demons before they could even they could even grow up. Road to success wants to know what's her IG. Look at her hair properly laid. <laughs> she made sure to show out for this press conference right here. All right, let me let me put a shot of her face so you can get a, a bit of shot from there. Just for you, broski. There you go. There you go. Okay. Look, look at her face. Beat to the gods. <laughs> 
This is her time to shine. Co- Yo, cops are cloud chasers too. Eh? Don't don't get it twisted. This is her promotion time. You feel me? But the whole thing with young shooters, that's nothing new. That's old news. Okay, salute to old John Crow. He said old news, facts. Right? But as far as this whole tow truck wars, <sighs> and probably somebody gonna hit me up later. Yo, bro, shut up about yo, why you always talking shit on your stupid podcast? This is alive. However, this is the thing in Toronto. Niggas be bucking over tow truck fares, B. And I get it. I guess if, you know, you're going to be in an organized crime field, it's all about the money in the end of the day. Somebody breaks down on the side of the road. You're getting at least 150 bucks from that one person. Right? Like the, the average cost of a tow Gang, I don't remember. I haven't been told in a while, but what's the average cost that you're spending when you get towed in Toronto? Like a buck fifty to two hundred dollars to get it out of the out of the tow yard. And then a lot of these guys, they own tow yards. And if you own a tow yard and you got a bunch of cars in there, Jesus Christ, there's so many layers to this shit, B. Just even the amount of things that you could hide in a tow yard. Jeez. However, it gets that serious that people are willing to take somebody else's head off to make sure that they're the main tow company in the area, in the city. Like, it's really that serious. Um, Big Cocky Man says... <laughs> pause says um caa is like 130 a year that's 130 a year for caa so that they can do roadside assistance right right that's for um in addition to your insurance if i'm not wrong you know what i'm in front of a freaking computer what a momento let me get a screen here so i could look up some shit Let's look it up. Because it's obviously worth it for these guys to be like, these guys are drillers. They're hit men for hire. But because of tow truck shit, I'm sure there's some drugs, extortion, prostitution, whatever, all in there too. Okay. Uh, tow truck price. Let's do this near me okay i'm in the ends i'm in the boroughs <sighs> i'm scared to look at these companies now now when i look at all these companies on the screen i'm like which one of y'all the mobsters <laughs> which one of y'all are, is the killers agb what up fam the what's popping bro truck war in toronto is that, that what's going on there's a yo fam. This has been going on for years. I know. I, I've obviously known about this. This is one of the most interesting things ever. It's, I don't know why the government just doesn't get a handle on this, but do you think that the government can like what? So the government like takes over tow trucking? I mean, they could just do that, or I mean, like there's there's so much shady stuff going on. You're telling me they could they could they do all these drug raids and stuff all the time. They couldn't go raid a bunch of these businesses. They did. <laughs> they just did. They got two kids, 16 and 17, that are out there murking down everything, bro. Well, yeah. And like, like, okay, so um, the first time I went to Toronto when I was younger, mm-hmm. I remember one of my older cousins telling me a story and he was like, yeah, he's like, sometimes if, if you get like into an accident or something here, like it's not uncommon for the tow truck drivers to get into a fight and shit like that. <sighs> Oh yes, I've heard about that. I, I remember just thinking, like, what, what, what do you mean get into a fight? <laughs> like, yes, two of them pull up at the same time, and they're like, yeah, he said, or he said, like, try and like steal it. So, like that was like one of the my first times hearing about it. And I was pretty young, bro. So this has been hmm. a thing. Probably <laughs> there's been issues for a while. Apparently, I don't, I don't know why it's like that though. I don't think it's like that here. Are you sure? Or I'm maybe sure they're just not covering it, man. Wait, hold on. I'm sure there's beef between tow truck guys, but there's it's not to 
Like, if it was to this level, I would know about it. If it was anywhere near this level. Every yeah, tow a... truck guy I've ever dealt with in Quebec is like an old, really nice, gray-haired man who speaks, mm -hmm. like, very, very little English. Okay. That don't mean... And then, listen, same over here. I Don't get me wrong. I've had a lot of young tow truck drivers, and I'm not saying... Uh, and they've all been great. I'm not saying that any of you guys are with the shits. <laughs> right? I mean, they might be. They just oh, might. <laughs> tow truck. Mom, my, 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 I'm sorry. There's no way I can take that seriously, but it's hilarious. Dude, look at this. It might be super serious, but it's hilarious. Like they, they, they I hope they, they acknowledge that. Well, the, the drivers themselves, are they the shooters? It's like, I need to know more. Because no, it's like it, to, it can't just be the drivers. It has to be bigger. It has to be like companies. There's probably a loophole in some law somewhere where they're like fighting over some. I don't fucking know, bro. It's I've never heard of anything like this to this level anywhere else. I'm I'm going on this site here, quality towing, and like every page that I go on, I'm like, am I looking up a mobsters page? I'm scared. Let's call them. I'll call them. We'll ask. We'll do a. You want to call one? Sure. Give me. Oh, that's <sighs> what are you going to ask them? Well, I don't know. Ask them if they work. For... <laughs> What's up with the? No, 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 no. What do you mean? Yeah, don't do that. What are they going to do? Come and kill me. <laughs> Damn. The number. They don't even know you at all, bro. I'm calling. No, nah, bro. You gotta find out price. I want to find out prices. Don't ask if anybody's no mobster. Just find out prices. First um. Point. Okay. Let's go to this one here. Fast towing. Um. Phone number is right here. Six four seven nine four five eight zero nine five. And just find out how much it is to get a tow from downtown. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're gonna. I don't know these geographic locations in Toronto. So, tell me what to say to go from downtown, <clears throat> right? Downtown Toronto to um, McCowan and Eglinton in Scarborough. So, from downtown Toronto to Macau, McCowan, McCowan and Eglinton, McCowan and Eglinton. All right. Okay, no, let me make it easier for you to remember Kennedy and Eglinton. Yeah, that's easier. Let's do that. Let Let's do a quick experiment. Because I just want to see if it's really, like, for the amount of it costs to do a whole thing like that, to get a tow, it might be worth a body. I'm not trying to incite nothing, but I'm just saying. Uh, uh, they might not answer. <laughs> they might be watching. Put, it to the, put the mic to the phone. That's there. Or the phone to the mic, my bad. We might have to do a different one. Okay, well, they're not at work. Go find another one. Let's find another one. I need to know the prices, bro. Because, like, these guys are, like, murking each other over this. Like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let's leave this one alone. <laughs> no, most people just have, like, CAA. <laughs> yo! I just got to chill up my spine, yo. You know what? Let's leave it alone, the truck bro. drivers are going to come tow your car at night Friday. It's going to be gone. No, fam, because I'm going to need a... Uh, listen, knock on wood that I'll never need a tow again. You're worried about these things that you say on here. You're all, you're all worried about tow truck drivers. Brother, they're in the news already. <laughs> they're not worried about you talking about them. Really? Are you sure about that, bro? I don't know if you've ever seen my DMs. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, I get it with like rap. Like, <laughs> no, 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 not just not just rap, bro. I've talked about a lot of things on here. Tow truck drivers and, in your DMs, bro. I guarantee, if we go too deep into this shit, somebody will holler at me and be like, "Bro, I seen you all talking about the man, then, bro. Calm down." But let's 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 prod just a little bit more. Okay. Six four seven five five seven five zero two one. And it's from Kennedy downtown Eglinton. to what street? Kennedy, Kennedy and Eglinton. Kennedy and Eglinton. 
<clears throat> you just want to quote. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but it's ringing. Bring it a little closer. Hi, how much would it be to get my car towed from um, downtown to um, Kennedy and Eglinton? Can you give me like a rough estimate? Sorry? Uh, hold on. What what's the location I'm at like right now? Hold right on. now, it's like I'm at at um the Eaton Center. The Eaton. I'm at Dundas and Dundas and um Dundas and Young. I'm at Dundas and Young. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Yeah. And then I need to get the car to Kennedy and Eglinton. Yeah, there's a no frills, the no frills at the corner of Kennedy and Angleton. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a Toyota Camry, and uh, one of the wheels is like flat. Uh, it's a front flat. AGB's getting the act, the Oscar for this one. He's on hold. So a, 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 you said a hundred and ninety in cash. Okay, give me g give me just one second. I'm gonna talk to my friend and then I'll call you right back. All right, all right. Thank you. Boom. So 190 in cash or 193 if you pay not cash. So that, they want cash already. I don't know. How so 190 and okay, just to give you some some context, let's say you're in um the South Shore in Broussard. Okay? Mm -hmm. To get from Broussard to downtown. Okay. That's basically what what, what we're doing. Okay. So <sighs> Hundred and ninety dollars to get from downtown to like let's say Eglinton and 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 Kennedy, and there's probably going to be additional fees for kilometers, different things like that, just in case. But you know, you could probably give them hundred ninety. You're good, right? Cash. Do that five six times a day. That's one grand for that one truck. Yeah. Yeah. Is it worth a body? I mean, these guys are catching bodies for this shit, bro. <laughs> I mean, listen, that's a uh, okay. So it's a grand a day, but you also got a lot of expenses there. But I don't know, like, I yes. guess people have caught bodies for less. Definitely a good job. I wouldn't recommend getting involved in it if you're having to do all that. There's easier ways to make a thousand dollars a day. Yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's not, it's like as somebody who's been on road, okay? Like, I, I'd have to hook up a whole truck to my uh, a car to my thing, and you know, you know, get it to to the location and all that to get a hundred and ninety dollars of which I don't know how much the driver retains. Okay. Should I, should I call him back and ask him? <laughs> No, 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 no. I that's that. Some funnier questions, if you want. The, the, yeah. Then, then you know the jig is up. But let's 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 conceptualize this for a second, okay? And let's just be real about it, because as yeah, as somebody who's been out here, I interview him. Huh? Sounds cool. The guy could sound kind of cool. We could probably interview him. I'll tell him <laughs> live right now. No, no, no. I think we're good, man. Here's the thing. Those guys, right? As somebody who's been on the road, you can go and deliver. And I'm just, I'm just going to be blunt. You can go deliver an eight ball and get like 200 and something dollars, maybe three bills. And it's this big. And you don't got to hook up a car up to the back of your truck. Why is these guys murking each other for this shit? It's not really a good flip. Maybe there's more money in it. Like, um, like when you, when you, you know, when you lay like, like take the cars from people you get your car towed mm. i think they make a lot more money off that 
because when they have to hold it in their lot, they can charge you like crazy. Maybe it's true. The longer to keep it in storage. Yeah, and there has to be some. Cause I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I was expecting for them to say a lot more than 190. That's what I'm saying. Look, also keep in mind, you what did you say, Toyota Camry or something like that? Yeah, it's a sedan, so like a. If you said Lamborghini, he would have said 500. I should have said some, something more. Like, yeah. If you said Porsche or Porsche, they would have said yeah. We can do it for like six hundred, maybe five hundred fifty. Yeah, probably, definitely would have. You get me? Yeah. So, okay, I, I okay, I I'm, I think I'm a little bit I back on track. Think of a car on the spot, my dog. <laughs> no, because I'm just trying to see, think of the cost benefits of it being that serious, where you got to send out little shooters to make sure that your tow truck company is the biggest one. I mean, maybe, maybe like the leaders of these like um, tow truck gangs or whatever they're called have been mm. listening to too much rap music and applying <laughs> that. Like, I don't know Gotta what else to chalk this up to. Like, it's a, it's a bit much. Like, I don't know. The comments are saying different though. Some people are saying like, like entertainment just said right here. Sometimes they keep and sell the cars on, on, at an auction. Yeah, the, there's for sure more money in it than just towing cars across town. Cause Nobody's shooting for that amount of money. There's got to be more money in it. That's what I'm saying. And I've never looked into this, bro. I have I think we might have covered the tow truck wars one time over five years, bro. And literally, this shit has been going on for the amount of time. I'm not going to lie. French media covers it quite a bit. Really, eh? <laughs> they kind of like, like it as a way to like make fun of Toronto and stuff like that. That's how I know about it. I remember like as my parents as kids watching stuff about... It wasn't really tow truck wars back then, but it was just how bad they used to have like news episodes of like how bad tow trucks were in Toronto. The only thing that made me decide, you know what, I need to just maybe cover this a little bit is when I seen they had a 16 year old and a 17 year old shooter. I was like, oh, you guys are just going crazy out here. Mm. Yeah. You know what know, I'm saying? Bro, like, it's just, I don't know. When people like, when I say the rap music thing, I don't necessarily mean rap music. I mean, just they get that dumb shit in their head and then they start acting on it, you know? Listen to too much drill. Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, we've all been there. You get hyped up to a song and you want to just go do something and you might start thinking you, your tow truck business, you're a little more like the mob now, you know, like, yeah, the whole, whole right. out of the back too. So now, you know, it just, then you start leveling up and then somehow you got kids shooting someone. Here's what I think, I don't know. and and I, I we'll get off of this story in a minute. But here's what I think: I think that these are legal businesses that are also fronts for way more illegal shit out the back door. Yeah, they're probably fronts for all the Indian mob and that that crap. <sighs> yeah, all types of organizations, depending on what tow truck company and who's the owner. Because you heard right there, like, bro, he asked if if like said it'll do less if i if i paid cash right away right away when companies are doing that when they want the cash you know that they're that they're not straight up with their books and everything yeah and like i said in the beginning of the segment also like these guys have tow truck yards so if you have a tow truck yard imagine the amount of stuff that you can have in and out of that yard you you could be stashing shit in the trunks of people's cars Bree. you don't even have to stash it in the trunk of one of your own cars somebody come raid the spot I don't know. It was in so and so's trunk. We just told that. I mean, yeah, there's a lot. Oh my. Yeah, there's a lot you could do, bro. Oh yeah. You're not really getting pulled over the same way, like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, maybe now <laughs> that oh, they know yeah. that. They <laughs> yeah, maybe now that that's probably done, it's probably gonna be worse now. But yeah. If I'm I a police know. pulling up, pulling over a tow truck driver, I'm proceeding with caution. He might have something. He might pull out the burner. Yeah, yeah. Tow your car. Yeah, lay you out, tow your car, put you in the trunk of that shit. I'm not saying that I would. <laughs> we, should start, we should start a we love hip hop tow truck business. We'll start our own. Oh man, That'd listen. Incredibly fun. Uh, I just know. This shit better work. As uh, it's working, but it better keep working because I got way too many ideas. <laughs> 
<laughs> my brain goes into many dark places. But let's get off of this before I incriminate yeah, myself. definitely more going on than just like $200 across town toes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Call me. If it doesn't work out, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm just saying, these guys must be getting mad bread, bro. Whoever's down with the team, bro. Holy, these guys are eating lobster and scrimp, bro. To catch a body, bro, you must be getting it. You got to be getting it, bro. Like, you have to be getting major bread. You could just be incredibly stupid. No, not for that many years and that many companies, bro. It's got to yeah, be worth it, bro. Yeah, it's not just a one-off. Like, the one-off incident, it might be some idiots. But, yeah. Nah, bro. That, these that guys have been... There has to be a ton of money behind it. Yeah, these guys have been spinning on each other for years, bro. Um, We love hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop.